All right, guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to this grocery store. The first one, and there's going to be another one. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've run this grocery store for five years now. Every video I make is about owning, growing, and building small business. If you're into that, you're at the right place and you should subscribe. Let's get into this one. Um, there's a lot to unpack, but I think it's interesting. Um, I really, uh, let's just say I really stuck my neck out for this one. Just me and Felicia have run this grocery store. We built it out from the ground up. We used all of our savings and a small business loan to start it. And now, finally, as some of you already have guessed, in previous videos we purchased and invested in a larger grocery store another independent in Toronto Ontario called the sweet potato we are all about you know small business and growing and owning them um, we own uh, a few other ones as well that you've heard on this channel and this is what I provide and hope to bring value to this channel by showing you exactly the ins and outs on getting started and then you know all the growing pains that come with it and the rewards just like this uh, investment that we made speaking of the reality this cooler last night completely stopped working it warmed up to about room temperature I don't want to do any Celsius or Fahrenheit or you know uh, I just don't know where you're viewing from, from, so let's say room temperature. And we had to throw away all the food on the right side. The drinks are obviously okay, but uh, speaking of growing pains, this is one of them that comes with owning this type of business or any small business that requires food refrigeration. You will find that your refrigerator at your house will last 15 to 20 years. And these will last two months before breaking down because we have about about seven of them now, including the walk-in. And there's always one down that needs to be replaced and things need to be tossed. We do recommend one thing to avoid this problem and it's a room temperature or a uh, thermometer that alerts your phone if it senses the temperature rising too high this will prevent something like this happening mind you i have that in my walk-in cooler i never thought of putting so many in they are cheap into these small coolers and here we go it actually happened where i had to throw you know a couple hundred dollars worth of food because i didn't bother putting this thermometer with a sensor in that fridge so here we are If you're new to this channel, I always have this habit of, of walking onto the camera and talking. I just like showing the store a little bit and seeing what I can balance this camera on. Today you're balanced on a can of black beans. These are my tripods, so it really works out. So back to the good news. The investment we made into this grocery store is actually a silent investment. I will not be running the day-to-day -day operations. I have no time to do that anyways. We have a a lot of other things going on. Speaking of, launched our very own coffee line. Um, I would honestly say our customers love it. The people that sell it in their stores love it. And if you want to try it, it's some of the best coffee in the world. This is our very own roast. You can find it at 13grandcoffee.com. Everything this channel has made, I reinvested into this business. So uh, we're pretty happy with the product. If you want to try it and support, we really appreciate it. If not, just hit the like button and we can keep watching. Well, you'll keep watching, I'll keep talking. So I don't think I can disclose how much we invested into this grocery store, but they've been around for 12 years. They're opening their second location in Toronto and we are part of this business now. And I think it's a perfect fit for me and Felicia. We've run this grocery store for five years. I worked at another one for eight to nine years. Felicia worked in a cafe for about seven to eight years. So it just kind of incorporates the things we're already good at, the things we understand. It's a safe investment for me because I understand the business and we did our research. These are the things that have to be done even if you're just buying into a business, investing in a business, becoming a silent partner. 
or starting your own business with which many of you on this channel are looking forward to be doing in the next hopefully few months to a year I suggest don't push anything further than that because then you know ideas become ideas and never actual real plan so to give you a quick rundown on our second investment it is in an organic grocery store called the sweet potato it's probably about 10, 000, 10 times the size of this store and they're opening a second location they're on two opposite ends of toronto and i think these areas i've personally visited and researched them can support these stores for the long-term game they have the ability which i don't have to provide deals that actually compete with the big box stores their pricing is similar to mine however they again have the ability to have blowout deals that attract all customers around that area i'm learning a few things from them as well and will tweak my business to suit to follow some of their better examples that i really resonate with they are more focused on the organic and local produce i focus mainly on local produce i can never get my pricing to be competitive enough for organic produce my area has a lot of senior citizens who are not interested in paying much more than they have to just for organic produce. Let's put that nicely. I can barely get them to not complain about certain prices that I already have. So I didn't touch the organic in my store. What I really liked about the sweet potato is they don't just source produce from all around the world and, and it's stamped organic. They have personal relationships with the farmers who deliver local and organic produce right to their stores. So they know where they're getting their food from. It's not sourced from all different parts and you know passed through four different wholesalers and who knows what happens to it from the source to the store. So that's what really attracted me to this business and I think a lot of people really appreciate that and that's why their business is doing so well. I always suggest for people to invest in things they understand. I understand grocery, I invest in grocery. You may understand restaurant, the restaurant business, you invest in restaurants. Someone else may be investing in, you know, a new salad dressing. You better make sure that you're a cook who has tested thousands of salad dressings or has worked in restaurants where they know what people usually order. Like there's always a connection to what you should be investing in. If you have no understanding of it, I don't know why you would ever invest in it. So let me tell you something. The pain of regret is worse than the pain of discipline. And I tell myself ev this every single day because in truth with this business, there is no one telling me I have to come here every day. There's no one telling Felicia she has to come here every day. But I know that with the discipline day in and day out, we can achieve something such as what we just did by investing in another grocery store or the lack of discipline hits us and we you know, close early, don't show up half the time, um, you know, come in whenever we want, take multiple vacations every few months. That will not lead you anywhere because the daily habits that you make, that you can cultivate, are the things that will take you to the next level. You sitting around talking, making excuses, not taking any personal responsibility for anything, is gonna leave you in the exact same spot. We would have never been able to invest in this second location unless we truly dedicated our time to this business over the last five years. Because once you start accepting that wherever you are in your life is exactly where you deserve to be, then you'll start realizing there's no room for excuses. That everything that you've earned is because of your own doing. And anything that went bad, most likely, was your own doing. So, here's to hoping this investment pays off for the long term we become good partners with this second grocery store that we're involved in because with any investment you ever make there's a risk you'll never make any money at all and chances are 
things will take a lot longer than you'd hope to to see a good return of investment. And this is why I was so pushy on making sure you research your investment, you understand the industry, and you have personal experience in the industry before investing into something that you won't even be a part of day to day, but you have an understanding on their trajectory if they're gonna be growing and where the business lies, how much demand is for the business, if the location is set right, if the managers and owners actually know what they're doing. You can tell all of these things much, much better if you have your own personal experience in the same industry. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope to provide the value that I always try to bring on this video today on a different side of investing. Usually we're always discussing, you know, opening and owning your own small business. This is more on the side of investing into a bigger business. We're just learning the game and I wanted to show you every step of the way. Have a good night.